Kia my whanau, welcome, welcome back to part two of our korero about what happens in Parliament. Just to go back quickly, 120, 20, 120 members of Parliament, you need to have 61 seats to gain, to be the part of the government of the land, and if you don't, and under, under MMP, you don't have an absolute majority, therefore it's all about forming relationships. That is, National and Labour must form relationships with smaller parties in order to be government of the day. They do it by a couple of ways. Number one is by a coalition agreement, which is pretty formal and sets out terms, so you might as well be one party. And the other one is called confidence and supply. What does confidence and supply mean? It means uh, the ability to pass your votes over to the major party, and that will allow supply of government departments throughout the country, education, health, and so on. And so that's the only agreement that you need to worry about, confidence and supply, to maintain your autonomy. And what are they really? What is what is it really talking about? One vote, one vote only. That's to do with the budget. So the budget is the key vote above all with respect to confidence and supply. And other than that, you can vote anywhere you like. Now, just to very quickly explain that during the course of our, our parliamentary term last that's just gone, we were asked to vote for GST, and we said no. And the government uh, did it because they knew that we weren't going to support it nor act. We were both in confidence and supply agreement. Uh, basically, they then put the GST into the budget, and therefore we were locked in and could not uh, could not vote anywhere else. If we did, we'd give up all of the gains that had been made. So, uh, other than that, it's only one one uh, vote that's really important. That's the budget, and that allows you to have a confidence supply agreement. Uh, over and above that, uh, sorry, uh, there's things like no surprises, which basically means that you don't uh, say something and then turn around and, and vote against it. And also you've got the ability to ne negotiate gains, whether that be by way of policy, budget or ministerials. So in 2008, this is what Parliament very quickly looked like. National had 56, Labour 48 or thereabout. Peter Dunn was on the scene, Jim Anderton was on the scene, ACT had five, the Greens had seven, and the Māori Party had five. And as you can see, basically National already had the numbers uh, to be able to form a government without the Māori Party, for whatever reason, chose to come along with the Māori Party and form a confidence supply arrangement with us. So there's two, one with ACT and one with Māori Party. There's no arrangement between ACT and the Māori Party. So the gains that we've been able to achieve has been because of MMP and the need for the national government to form a relationship with the minor party, in our case, with the Māori Party. And uh, because of that, we've been able to negotiate certain gains, which are picked up in the pamphlets that you will see and have, have been delivered throughout the country. Kia ora mai, ka hoki mai, We'll be back shortly just to give you the current lay of the land.